All right, it looks like I am live. Hello, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. Hi. And they get hamster. Welcome. Another live stream. Sorry, I know it's been a while. Um, I was at my sister's house, actually, for like a few days, like four or five days. I had to watch her dogs because she was out of town on vacation with my family. Um, and yes, I would have gone, but, you know, work is a pain in the ass. Actually, I just started a new job, like, literally a couple weeks ago. So I didn't want to just, like, take off work right then, you know, kind of. I, don't, I, I kind of would have felt like a dick if I did that, you know what I mean? So I just figured, you know, I'm just going to stay behind and uh, get some work done. And then also, yeah, just uh, stay over her house, watch the dogs. I know she appreciated that. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, that meant I couldn't stream for those few days. So And then last week, I think it was last Thursday, actually, I was going to stream, but then I just did not feel like it. And uh, we'll get into why, but um, I'm sure it'll be a topic of tonight's stream. I want to keep it brief, but like I'll still address it at some point. But anyways... I'm back now, so thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for your patience. Um, last time I actually went into... I don't even remember what it was called. What was the place called that I was in last time? The forest area, right? In Skyward Sword HD. Um, all I know is that... I, uh, Faron Woods. Faron Woods. I can't believe I didn't even think of that. Um, all I know is that I was about to get to the first dungeon. Um, and I've heard, like I've said on Twitter when I announced these, the stream, um, I've heard really good things about the dungeon design. So I am excited to see what is in store i know i think a lot of people say the ancient cistern is considered the best one or a lot of people that's a lot of people's favorites i should say um but i don't know for sure i mean i'll have to kind of form my own opinions as i go and uh i'm sure it'll be good either way i'm just looking forward to uh, checking it out i know um i did get the slingshot i think the gr the grand elder kiwi the kiwi the kiwi bird dude gave uh gave me the slingshot last time no i'm not using the straps but thank you for the consideration um Hey, Sloshkull, how you doing? How's it going? Um, glad you can make it. Yeah, I know, sorry, it's been a while, like I said. It's been a little over a week, but, um, I'm back and ready. I, I miss, I miss playing Skyward Sword, I'm not gonna lie. I really wanna check this game out. I'm, like, the kind of person, like, usually, I don't, like, um, okay, I use the slingshot to reach the temple where Zelda is. Okay, so Zelda is at the temple. I'm the kind of person who doesn't really like to play multiple games at once. That's kind of what I'm doing now, though, honestly. Um... Just because of streaming, that's kind of the way it works, um, for me at least. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's 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 kind of like if I don't play a game, if I like take too long of a break in between a game I'm playing. Like for example, I haven't played this. Oh no, don't don't no. We're not guarding against anything now. Like, um, I haven't played this in like slightly over a week, and it's like I gotta remember all the controls now again. And it's like I, I usually don't like to do that, but like I just yeah, I didn't feel like streaming last week. Um, Last Thursday, I should specify. And then, um, yeah, I was just away for so long. Doing good. Glad to see you play again. Hope you like this first temple. Yeah, that's good to hear you've been doing well. I know you said you weren't feeling feeling great last uh, last time when I was going to stream, and then I canceled. So uh, glad to hear you're doing better. But um, yeah, no, I'm excited to see what the, uh, the first uh, dungeon has in store. Let me see. Um, okay, how do I select? Oh, I have it right here. Okay. How do I? Okay, so the right trigger. Yes, there we go. Release to select. There we go. Okay. And then, so it's, it's ZR. I gotta remember it's ZR to select weapon. We're playing like six games right now. It's like, yeah, like, I mean, there's, there's a lot, especially, I mean, there's been a lot of games coming out. Like, Slash Call, I don't know if you're playing any, like, new games that, um, okay, I gotta swing. Um, I don't know if you played any, like, games that came out recently, but, like, July was packed. Like, not only this game, but, like, um, I think Neo The World Ends With You just came out, which, I mean, I'm not huge into RPG, so I haven't been playing, uh, I, I'm probably not going to try that out, honestly, at least not yet. Um, also, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles came out, too, and I suppose that's going to be really good. I'm tempted by that, because I did play the, uh, uh-oh, our boy Girahim. Girahim's here. Okay, I was wondering when he was going to show up. Um, but yeah, that came out, too. There's, like, so many games that came out. So I'm curious to know if you're playing any, like, games that just came out. I mean, probably... You, you said you were still going through Skyward Sword HD, right? Um, obviously, that just came out, what, two weeks ago? I think it was two weeks ago. Um, the Deep Woods, okay. Oh, wait, so am I not even at the... Oh, okay, I'm not even at the dungeon yet. So the dungeon looks like I have to explore a bit of the Deep Woods first. Okay, okay. Um, that's kind of like, um... I never played either of those series. Yeah, they're very... They're, they're pretty niche series from what I can tell. Um, okay, come on. Okay, I had a friend, one of my friends told me that if I just wait, it might be better to just wait for him to attack me, and then I can, uh, because these sword slashes are super annoying to deal with. Oh, right, we got it. There we go, that was solid. Come on, there we go. 
Anybody else? Who else wants to try me right now, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. How do I get away from the bees? <laughs> Not the bees! Not the bees! <laughs> Go away, bees! No. No, I don't like this. <laughs> Can I run away from the bees? Only recent game is Skyward Sword HD, and I guess kind of new is still... Are they away? No, there's one. Hey, get away. Can I attack it? Get away from me. Oh, you're playing Pokemon Snap. Nice. Um, actually, they just announced today, I think, there was some uh, some new content, some free DLC coming to po new Pokemon Snap, which is really cool. Um, I honestly would not have expected the Pokemon Company to do free DLC for that game, but it looks great. Um, I never picked up that game personally, but... Oh, also, wait, you're you're playing, you're talking about new Pokemon Snap, right? Are you talking about, like, the original N64 one? Because that could go either way. Um, playing the original N64 one, that's old school. But, yeah, the new content looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've always been tempted to pick up new Pokemon Snap, but I just never... I never buckled down and got it. There were so many, like, first-party games this year that I really wanted to, uh, to try out. I should probably shoot that high down i'm guessing that's probably the best thing to do there were so many first party games this year that i wanted to try out but it's like uh oh okay so as long as i stay far enough away i'll be good also yeah these um yeah these replenish my seeds right yeah okay there we go five deku seeds yay um yeah and po new pokemon snap was one of the games that i was very tempted to try out and get but i just i never did um not that it's ever going to go on sale, but, like, one of these days I... Oh, nope. There you go, Link. Nope, nope. Not that way, Link. Come on. There you go. Is there that? Ah, ah. Come on. Come on. I believe in you, Link. I believe in you. There you go. Ah, come on. Um, yeah, maybe one of these days I'll just buckle down and buy it. There are just so many first-party games that I want to play. Really excited. Unfortunately, it's not the Pokemon company who made Snap. Oh. Right, I forgot Bandai Namco worked on it. Honestly, like... It's, I mean, from what I can tell, I mean, I don't know what you think of the game Slashical, but, like, it seemed like they did a pretty good job with, um... It seemed like they did a fairly good job with, with the game. Did I play the original? I did not, no. Um, so that's also why I didn't grow up playing the original Pokemon Snap, so maybe that's why I wasn't as enticed to, like, play the new one. But, I mean, it, it looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's just, like, I don't know how much longevity it would have for me, to be honest. Um, that's the one thing I'd be worried about, is that I'd pick it up and then just, like, play it for, like, maybe, like, a week or so, and then just kind of drop it. I don't know, that's kind of... Especially because I tend to play a lot of shorter games, except, like, uh, Zelda's probably, like, the one of the only exceptions. Um, because Zelda games tend to be... No, it's Link, come on. Link, Link. No! I wonder if I have to, re I have to recalibrate. Hold up. Hold up. Let me, uh... Let me recalibrate here. Okay. Um, uh, nope. Not what I want to do. Do I actually... Am I gonna have to, um... I might have to do this anyways in order to, um, avoid these little prickly dudes. Oh no, he's trying to get over to me. Hey, I see you. Wait, what the heck? How am I gonna... Oh, I have to shoot him, I have to shoot him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he just fell off, okay. Um, I did a great job, for the most part, stayed faithful to the original. It's not for everyone. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely intrigued by it, I will say. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I can't, uh, go faster. Gotcha. Um, I'm definitely intrigued by it. It's just, I don't know how much longevity it would have for me personally. I tend to play a lot of shorter games. Um, except for certain games, like, I mean, Zelda. Um, and I guess the nice thing about, uh-oh, I don't like that. Get off of me. No, I don't like that. Get off. Okay. Um, the nice thing about a game like po New Pokemon Snap, I feel like you could probably go at your own pace. Um... It's just personally for me, I don't think it'd be worth sixty dollars. But that's just for me personally. You know how a lot of people like to talk, like I don't know, depending on like how much you're on like social media or like gaming discourse. Um, a lot of people like to talk about, um, you know, like if games are, you know, there's it's been a whole argument for uh, forever since games have been around, really, especially recently though. Or, like, people are wondering if games are worth $60, or, like, the full price, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people, you know, when this game was, when, uh, Skyward Sword HD was originally announced, a lot of people were talking about how, um, they were saying, oh, like, a... Nice. Um, a lot of people were saying this game wasn't even worth $60, and, like, to that effect, I'd say, uh, how about you let the people who want to play the game decide how much it's worth, and if it's worth it to them. Story's very short, but gosh, trying to 100% is a pain. Oh, for, um... New Pokemon Snap, you're saying? Okay. 
Is my Joy-Con drifting? I think my... Come on. There we go. I almost missed that. Why is, like, grabbing the ropes the most difficult part of this game? No way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if there were lives in this game, I'd be doing terribly. <laughs> um, but okay. Yeah, so, so you're saying the story is very short in New Pokemon Snap? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, there wouldn't be, like, a super, super in-depth story, but... Um, my thumbstick might be drifting. I'll have to look into that later. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not gonna jump yet. There we go. Oh, I barely made that. I barely made that. Alright, Fi, what do you have to say? Master, your wallet is full. You will not be able to collect any more rupees than you currently carry. Oh. Okay. 300. Whoa! Wasn't ready for that. Uh-oh. Oh, he takes multiple hits. The strong Deku Baba. Not that he can do much to defend himself. Yes, yeah, snap, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense they wouldn't have a super, super in-depth story for that. Oh, this guy! Gorko! Gorko's back! What's up, Gorko? It's been a little while. Are you gonna say anything, or is that it? I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Stumbled onto one of these this cube. Yeah, what's this, like, metallic-looking cube right here? You know, in the ancient text. Gotten a lot better with the motion controls since last time. Oh, yeah, with the, um, the Skyward Sword motion controls. Um, yeah, they take a little bit to get used to. I think the more, it seems like, at least for me, is what's happened is the more I play, the more used to it I get. Especially, I don't know if you've gotten better with the loft wing at all, but, like, ever since I realized that you have to, like, flick up to, like, flap the wings of the loft wing, like, that completely changed it for me. It made it so much better. I just completely missed that during the tutorial originally. Um, that's good to hear you getting used to it more. Um, it's one thing the goddess said behind the hero of legend. I haven't thought of a name for these things. The goddess cubes, okay. But what does it do? Real interesting stuff. I wonder if this is related to that chest I saw earlier in, um, in Skyloft at the bazaar, I think it was. There was a chest that looked like it had to be unlocked or something. Summoning forth the light from a heavenly blade. May that sword's master receive aid. Oh, so do I have to, I probably have to do a Skyward Strike, I'm guessing, right? Got better with the loft, but not perfect at it. It's still really tough, honestly. I found that to be the most, like, difficult thing to control with the motion in this game. But, um, it's doable. It's just not perfect for sure. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I got a sword. Not that you have a sword. Well, he could have a sword. Gorgo might have a sword hidden. You know, might have, like, a dagger or something. Made it some sort of metal I've never seen it. I would say the key to cracking this egg is that one line. The life... Yeah, so it's, it's gotta be a Skyward Strike. Do I remember how to do the Skyward Strike is the question. Let's try it. Hold on. Nope. Let me take out my sword. There we go. Look at that. I'm getting... I'm starting to slowly get used to the Skyward Strike, too. Which is, it's kind of awkward the way you have to put it in, but it's also because I'm sitting down and it makes it more difficult. So what happened to the cube? That whirly beam thing. Where did you think the cube... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we're not going to know now. Cube like that once all over the side. It must go up to the sky somehow. It's got to go up to Skyloft somewhere. The other thing that I didn't realize, and I think I, I think I realized it after watching like a review of Skyward Sword HD, is that apparently you can like fly to other islands in the sky. Like I didn't realize you could do that. So, I might have to check that out next time I'm in Skyloft. I'm probably not going to go back to Skyloft until I'm done. I might as well just do the dungeon while I'm here, right? Um, also, this art style has been growing on me ever since um, ever since last time. Like, it's not perfect. You can tell there's some there's some rough areas in the textures, but it's not, like, it's not that bad. It's it's, it's it's its own, like, art style, which I like. Very cartoonish. No worry. No way. Oh, Red Rupee. No way. I could have sworn I got one of those before, so that's a little weird that I played the message again, but, uh, what are you gonna do? Okay. Rupees! Oh, wait, I, there's no point in me getting these. I can't even collect anymore. Okay. So I'm guessing... Oh, here's another cube. Look at that. It's another one. I have the power! Bye-bye. There we go. Yeah, I gotta figure out where these cubes are going. They're going into the sky, so they gotta be going somewhere up in Skyloft or one of those other islands you can fly to. I'd be curious to see what's on those other islands. 
The other thing I gotta figure out is that some, I guess some NPCs have side quests. So I gotta figure out, like, how the side quests actually work. Um, and, you know, I, I should pay attention to that as I go, but ooh, we got a grave, or a stone of some sort. He who descended from above, look to the star that the bird rising heaven were gazes upon. Aim your shot there. So I'm guessing the shot is the slingshot. Look to the star that the bird rising heaven were gazes upon. Okay. So there's gonna be some kind of, like, bird statue, I'm guessing. I'm gonna need to do. Did I explore? Where have I not explored yet? I feel like I missed an area back here. I'm gonna go check that out. Oh, no worries, Logical. Yeah, literally, like, you know, if you have to go somewhere, like, literally, like, I just appreciate whenever you're watching this. Like, don't feel like you have to stay around the whole time. Don't feel like you have to be constantly watching. Like, whatever works best for you. I mean, I'm just, I'm just playing games here, right? It's also, like, not a thing of where I'm, like, you know, like, monetizing any of this content. I'd feel, I'd honestly, I'd feel bad if I tried to, like, monetize. Oh, no, I don't want to quit. Did I accidentally select save and quit? I'd feel bad if I tried to, like, monetize any of this stuff because, like, I have a full-time job as it is, and that's why, like, I can only do so much content. Um, but I just, I feel bad. It's like, I'm, I'm, like, you know, I have my own other income, like, out, outside of, it's, like, my, my, my main income for full-time work. It's, like, I'd feel bad, like, being, like, oh, donate or whatever. Not that I would force people to donate, but, like, you know, I would just, I would feel bad accepting any donations if I were to do that, but, um, I feel like with YouTube streaming, I feel like there's less pressure. Not that I watch a ton of streams, to be honest, but, like, I feel like there's overall less pressure to donate on YouTube as compared to somewhere like Twitch. I just do not like Twitch. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Like, I'll occasionally watch Twitch streams of, like, certain people that I like to watch, but, like, I don't even watch streams that often, uh, to be honest, but... You know, occasionally I watch something. Okay, oh, this is the area I was at before. Okay, I don't think I missed any other areas, and I think I'm fine. What is- wait, what is that, though? Oh, it's just a marker. Okay, those are the, uh- Oh, those are the bird statues. Got it, got it. Um, yeah, I just feel like with YouTube, I feel like it's a lot more casual. You just, like, you know, walk in and just chill and watch a video. Plus, I like having everything in one place, so, like, you know, if I do make, like, a legit video, like, not a live stream, then it's, like, it's all it's all on the channel. You know what I mean? It's just, I feel like it's so much more organized and easier. And, yeah, YouTube's not perfect, that's for sure. But I feel like just with the way I've seen Twitch evolving over time, especially recently, it's just, like, I don't know. It's just, it's so inundated and there's, like, like, there's a lot of people on Twitch. And I don't know, like, not that, like, there's not any people on YouTube, but I just, I don't know. I've always felt more, like, comfortable with YouTube. So, uh... Yeah, that's why I'm sticking here, but... Door is sealed shut. Oh, okay, so the bird statue is probably what's gonna... I gotta figure out where that is. There's gotta be some bird statue out here that I can shoot, like it said. It said, aim for the bird that's rising heavenwards. The where's the bird? It's not this guy, right? It's not the... There's gotta be some other bird statue somewhere, right? Twitch is okay, but I hate getting four 15-second unskippable ads. Right, yeah, Twitch got bad with the ads, I remember that. Yeah, like, that you can't skip them at all. Like, most, not all YouTube ads, but a lot of them you can skip after, like, five seconds or so in a row. Yeah, like, an entire minute of ads, right. Yeah, there's all that. I mean, just the fact that it's owned by Amazon, I hate, because, like, literally, fuck Amazon. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's, um... I don't know, just like the little things that kind of just added up for me, and I'm just like, no, I don't want to go on Twitch. I also feel like, I mean, you could probably get a following on Twitch, but if there's so many people on Twitch to the point where it's just like, I don't know. Um, might be a little much. Okay, where's... Oh, wait, there's a switch there. Am I just supposed to hit that switch right there? Is that what it was talking about? Maybe that's what it was talking about. Um, okay, I guess that's it. Will that open the door? Look at that. Yeah, so in other words, Logical, don't expect me to go on Twitch anytime soon. Um, I am content with streaming on YouTube, thank you. Also, for some reason, I think, when I was looking this up a while ago, before really, like, even starting to kind of get into streams, um, Virhim's gonna follow us in, isn't he? I'm sure he'll be there. Um, for some reason... The streaming, like, the upload speed requirements for Twitch are slightly more than YouTube. Even, like, what I'm doing right now, 720, 60 frames. It's slightly less on YouTube, and I don't know why. 
Like, I don't know, based on their servers or whatever, like, YouTube accepts, like, slightly lower bit rates or something. I don't know. Um, okay, what's what's the bad news, Fi? The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. Oh, okay, we can't get Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her. Okay. Thank you. Given the situation, I suggest you look around. Well, you know what? I'm used to doing that in every other Zelda game, so... All good, I prefer YouTube. Yeah, no, so do I. It's like I said, Slosh Cold, it's not perfect, but like it's 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 got some stuff right. I will say it's got some stuff right. I feel like it's a little more I also feel like it's a little more maybe beginner friendly. Just like based on like initial like um I think you'd be a lot of places to say it, huh? Just based on like initial you know, not that I've streamed on Twitch, but just like from a like a first glance, I just I don't know, YouTube just looks a lot more simple to me. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it, but Okay, so this is the Skyview Temple. That's what it's called. Okay. Um, I like the mushroom theme going on. That's kind of cool. Oh, I swear, if we encounter spiders in here, that is not going to go well. <laughs> that is not going to go well. I am not a fan of spiders. I'm expecting it. I know there are spiders somewhere in the game. Like, I've seen some footage of spider enemies in the game. I just don't know where, and I'm not looking forward to that. Can I... It almost looks like I it looks like I almost should be able to go in there. I'm guessing I won't be able to break that down though. Yeah, that is nothing. Okay. Maybe like a fire arrow would take care of that, but I don't know if there are even fire arrows in this game. I gotta figure out what uh weapons are in this game. Come on. Hey! They're taking advantage of me, I'm stuck in the web. Oh, this little uh thingy in there. How do I how do I get the thingy? When I get the thingy, how do I get it? Can I get it from me? Nah, it's not gonna let me. Unless I can shoot it out of there, which I doubt, but who knows. No. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Maybe I need some kind of, like, claw shot or something. I think there is some kind of claw shot in this game. Hey. Hey, I see you posting those emojis in there. I see you with those spider emojis in there. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, I wonder if I can shoot him from here? Will a slingshot work against Deku Baba, I wonder? Oh, okay. It makes him dizzy. That's cool. Alright. Come on. There we go. Good to know that it kind of makes him a little dizzy, but... Oh, what is this do? What is the switch gonna do? Hmm. I didn't even notice that gate there. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I'm sure there's, there's gonna be spiders in here, no doubt. I'm ready. I'm on the lookout. The only good thing I will say, as much as I dislike spiders, the only good thing... Well, I don't know about the only thing. I don't know a ton about their biology, but, like, you descended from the sky, lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. So what, Phi? Who brought you to the firm soil? I thought that was Phi. Yeah, I must be just saying, like, listen to Phi. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to. Um, hello. I gotta shoot you. Interesting. Okay, what does Phi have to say? It is likely that I am the servant this tablet is referring to. That's what I thought. Give me a massive quantity of knowledge about this land. Need of answers, I won't hesitate to call on the yak yet. You target an object with ZL, then press... All the... Yep. Okay, so we gotta know about the eye. Tell me about the eye. The tip of pointed object. Okay. No, I want to take it. How do I take out my sword? There we go. Oh, is this the one that you have to, uh... Oh, I know what this is. Hold up. I I, I heard about this. And you gotta, like, make its eye... Yeah, you have to, like, make its eye go dizzy. That's so funny. Um, That reminds me of an enemy in Mario 64, actually. The, the, they had those random floating eyeball enemies that you had to, like, um, spin around to make them dizzy, and then they just died. Like, I, I guess I understand it, because it's like, you know what I mean, like, you're, uh, essentially obstructing their field of vision that way. I do not like these spiky dudes. No! No! Oh, I got him off. Okay. Um... Uh, wow, there's, a, there's so many statues in here. I'm surprised. 
Did they, I wonder, did they add some of these statues into the new game? Because this just seems like a lot, but I mean, I guess that's good. You know what I mean? I guess that's good in case, like, you want to save. Oh. Ugh. Yep, we got spiders. Okay. Okay, I mean, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Get out of here. You're done. The only thing they're good for is for eating flies. Only thing. <laughs> I'm killing these things. Those are, those are nasty looking. Like, some spiders I can tolerate, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like Daddy Longlegs, for example, they're not too bad. But ones that look like these, like these tarantula-looking ones, no. We're not doing it. I don't know the I think for sampling the Wii version in 30 to 40 minutes? Wow. That is a long time. Honestly, like, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm kind of lucky in that regard that, like, the original existed before this, you know what I mean? So that we can, like, um... What is in here? Oh, that's this area. Okay, cool. A little shortcut. Um, I'm kind of lucky that the original version already exists to the point where, like, people have already discovered this stuff before, you know? And also, I mean, just the fact that the internet exists makes it so much easier. Honestly, it's logical. If I were in your position, I would have given up after, like, maybe 10 minutes and then looked up a guy. <laughs> as bad as that is, it's like, at that point, I'm just like, I don't, you know, at that point, I just, like, I don't have that level of patience, but, like, good on you that you have that level of patience, because, like, I, I do not... <laughs> Okay, we got uh, a locked door over there. Okay, there's a switch there. I wonder if I'm going to get some kind of, like, claw shot or something in this. Because I can't... Like, how else can I get those items that are in these tree trunks? Shooting that doesn't do anything, right? Oh, okay, it does shoot it out of the... Okay, so never mind, it just shoots it out of the... I don't know why, I was trying that with that, like, uh, that relic earlier and it didn't work. But maybe I just wasn't hitting it correctly. Okay, um... Can I go down here? I want to explore a bit down here. I'm assuming this whole stream is pretty much just going to be the dungeon. Um, because Zelda dungeons tend to be fairly long. And I'm already half an hour in? How? How has it already been half an hour? I don't even know. I swear, time, like, flies when I'm streaming. Oh, there's a little, uh, little secret switch there, huh? Little trying to hide one from me? I don't think so. It's going to open one of these gates. Oh, that guy. Cool. Okay. I hope it's not timed, because if it's timed, i got to run over there. Doesn't seem like it is, though, so that's good. Um, anything over here? Ah, uh, there's a gross spider, so I'll kill him. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I, I, I'll I, say, like, they, they eat flies, so at least, like, they do that, because flies are literally... I don't even know why flies exist. Like, I don't know... What, like, you know, like, a lot of organisms serve some kind of, like, you know, actual purpose in terms of, like, the overall ecosystem, right? Like, as much as I hate, like, some bees and, like, wasps and stuff, at least they, like, pollinate flowers and stuff, you know what I mean? They produce honey, and, like, that's obviously important for plants to grow, but it's, like, and even spiders, they eat flies, but why do flies exist? The flies are so annoying, I swear, every time I'm, like, going on a walk somewhere, just going on a hike, literally, I just... Um, personally, I always get bombarded with them, and I don't know why. Always me. I don't know if it's everybody else, but I swear it's just me. If I'm with someone, they always go for me. I don't know what it is. They just, they, they, they just, they're just attracted to me. I don't know. <laughs> Even with bug spray. I tried going with bug spray last week, and it just did not do a thing. <laughs> uh. Okay. Ooh, what is this? A skull. A little, uh... Oh, I got that last time. Okay, so it's... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, not feeling that one. Can I, uh... Can I shoot you with this? No. I gotta get close to the spider, don't I? I gotta get close. What the heck? Let me try a skyward strike. Maximum power! Nope, okay. Not going over there. <laughs> not going over there. Anyways... They only come in my room at night when it's time to go to sleep. Wait, what? Hold on. Sorry, Slash I completely lost my train of thought. What are you... What are you referring to there? Are you referring to, like... Oh, you're, are you referring to flies? Because, like, that sucks. Like, if you're trying to go to sleep, like... You might want to figure out what's going on there. Because, like... Yeah, having flies, like, in your bedroom... I mean, like, I guess I have some, uh in my apartment, like, just from, like, I don't know, the trash or something, but, like, yeah, that's not good. 
Yeah, flies. Yeah, they're so annoying, I swear. When you sleep, that really sucks. I hope you can figure out how to, um... Can I? I want to go down here. I want to see what's down here. Always explore every nook and cranny in Zelda games. That's what I've learned. But, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, you should try to figure out what's going on there, because, like... That just kind of sucks. I mean, like, do you have, like, your windows open, maybe? That might bring some in. They could sometimes fit through, like, the screens you have in windows or, like, whatever. But, uh... I'm just gonna pretend I don't see the spiders, and I'm gonna go over here. Uh, is that an area I can go to, actually? Hold up. Can I reach that? Oh, I see. It's a switch. I doubt I'm gonna be able to reach from here. Um, but yeah, man, that sucks. Sorry, I have to deal with that. That just that sounds like a pain in the ass, honestly. Can I make it? Haha! -ha! I don't know how I did that. Gotta get used to the swinging mechanics here. It's tough. Okay. Come on. There we go. The tough one. Oh, you're changing it up on me, huh? Woo! These, these gold ones are tough. Hey. Get out of here. You're done. There we go. At least I got a heart. Um... Can I attack him from behind? I can. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He's coming for me. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's coming for me. He's not happy. Not happy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't think so. Stay away. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The Skyward Strike works against them. Good. They just come from somewhere in the house. We sometimes leave our back door open because we have dogs. Oh, I see. Yeah, that'll do that. That'll do it. It's just like... They get they get in through like the smallest openings, I swear. It's like super annoying. Come on, get down. Get down from there. Okay. I'm gonna kill you. I'm coming I'm coming for you. Get out of here. Good, we killed them. Good to know that uh the Skyward Strike works against them as well. I feel much safer now. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of annoying you have to deal with that, but um yeah, especially yeah, sleeping. That kind of sucks, but... I mean, if you gotta leave up, open that back door for the dog, what can you do? I want a dog. I can't wait to get a dog. So I'm moving out to a, a new apartment in pretty much a, exactly a month from now. Um, it'll, be, it'll be better for my new work commute, and also actually for my roommate, too. Um, but this is also... Currently, our, um, it's also how the spiders and all the other bugs get. And, uh, yeah, that's not great. That's definitely not ideal. Having any kind of insects in there is just like, ugh, that's that's not great. Um, I don't know. I would I would not survive in those conditions. I'm not gonna lie. I would just like be like, nope, not gonna not gonna be able to live in there. But um, hopefully, you have a system at least to manage that. Cause yeah, that just doesn't sound fun though. Why did filling up the water do? Maybe in a oh nope, no no no. Um, maybe in another area it um kind of fills the water up a bit. But I'll have to stay. Stop it. But yeah, I'm excited, so I'm moving into an apartment later, and um, in about a month from now, and this next place is also going to be in a room with two glittering gemstones, you shall find the temple map. Two glittering gemstones, okay, good to know. You need to pull that map until your eye finds the expert is there, you must strike another gemstone to reveal it. Okay, so it's almost like the dungeons might be a little linear in this game too, that's interesting, okay. Um, I think I'm going to finally buckle down and get some kind of pet. I've always been a dog person, personally. Like, my family always had dogs. My mom was allergic to cats, so, uh... You know, we, ne we never had a cat. But, like... I'm just thinking, like, in terms of, like, you know, because... I'm, I'm fully remote from my work right now. We have these stink bugs that like to hiss at you. Stink bugs hiss? They make noise? What? That's crazy. I've never heard of that before, Sloshable. That's wild. Oh, nice. There's the map. Um, that's crazy. They hiss? Like, what? I mean, they come into your house. Are they mad at you that they came into your house? Like, it's not their house. <laughs> they shouldn't be hissing. You should be the ones hissing at them to get out. That's, whoa. That's, I've never heard of that before. That's so weird. It, so many, like, animals or, like, insects or creatures just amaze me. It's kind of crazy. Um... Oh, it also reveals locations of treasure chests, so there are no compasses in this game. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna buckle down and get a pet. I've been meaning to. I could have gotten one here. I've been here for six months now. Um got one more month here, but like 
I'm probably gonna buckle down and get a pet, but I might, I'm just thinking in terms of I'm fully remote now for my job, but like eventually I'm gonna be going like a hybrid kind of schedule where I work some days remote and go into the office some days. For those days that I'm going into the office, I'd feel bad like leaving a dog in a cage all day. With a cat, I'd feel less bad because they kind of just do their own thing. Um, and they'd have like, you know, a litter box if they need to use the bathroom, but I don't know if it's a special kind of stink bug that does it, but yeah, one was by my front door and hissed at me and my friends, so we went around. Yeah, I mean, if if a, if a stink bug hissed at me, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna get out of your way. At least it wasn't a spider. That would have been scarier. Found another one in the kitchen where it hissed at the three. So, like, you had all these stink bugs that were just hissing at you? That's crazy. I've never heard of that. That's, wow. That's kind of terrifying. Like, I'd be afraid if you, like, aggravated it, like, slightly more. Like, what it would do? Would it, like, jump out at you? I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't test that theory out if I were you, but... That's so crazy. Wow. Stink bug hissing at you. That's I didn't know animal I didn't know insects could hiss like that. That's wow. Be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here. Oh right, okay. No beacons indoors. So what I'm curious about, so is there no I guess oh there's Zelda. Hello Zelda. Um I guess there's no compass, right? Because usually the compasses in the other Zelda games would uh, that would be what would reveal the chest locations and everything, so... Huh, that's interesting. Okay. One last thing I gotta collect for that, which is good, I guess, but... Okay. And they did say earlier I have to hit these... I have to go to these X's to hit other, uh... Stones, it looks like, so... Okay, I gotta keep an eye on that. But, okay. Can I... If I just get... I could just jump down here, I'll be fine, alright? Okay. Let me go down here... Oh, this is just heading back. Okay, I don't want to go that way. Have I been in this room before? Oh! Yeah, this is this room. Okay, I'm back in here. I didn't even realize. Didn't even realize. My friend picked it up and threw it at you. <laughs> Are you sure they're your friend? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a friend to me. <laughs> it was hissing the whole time it was flying through the air. That is wild. That, I mean, that that's kind of terrifying. I'm not going to lie. That's, like, I wouldn't not they threw it at you okay that's that's a little that's a little uh aggressive i'm not gonna lie wow okay oh wait do i have to hit i think i was supposed to hit one over here but i didn't or oh no 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 no, no. that was um that was the gemstone i did hit to raise the water level so i think i already hit that but i gotta go hit the other one okay and so this icon means that i've already opened a the chest there okay good to know Good to know. I kind of wish they just... What's the point of keeping the chest icons even there? Why not just get rid of them? I think other Zelda games do that, but... I don't know. A little little, uh, little weird, but who knows. Maybe there's some kind of reasoning for it. I swear, if any of these spiders in this dungeon try to hiss at me, Sloshical, it's not gonna end. <laughs> I will murder every single one of them. I'm guessing the boss is probably some variant of Goma then, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be, based on what I'm seeing here. And I mean, Goma is usually one of the first bosses, so... That's what I'm guessing. But we'll see. Okay. Hello, friend. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, the, Skull the Skulltulas? Skulltulas? However you pronounce them? Oh, God. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Want to come closer? Come on, come closer, come closer. Come closer, friend. Oh, okay, don't like that. Don't like that. Can I? Maybe I can't get him. Maybe I can't get him from here. I don't know. We have to go around somehow again, like earlier. I guess you'll see. I don't like that. That doesn't sound great. <laughs> I think you know something that I don't. Well, I I'm assuming you you've already made it past this dungeon, but... um. Yeah, those, I don't like the small guys either. Those small guys, no, no, no. Ugh. Hey. <laughs> no, you're done. Get out of here. I don't think there was anything I could do over here, to be honest. So I just need to figure out how to get past those big guys. Yeah. Up we go. Let me see. what I can. There's got to be some way I can get past them. Hello. Maybe Fi has something to say. Targetable objects in your immediate vicinity. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Target the spider. There we go. 
Really? I mean, I guess they're Skulltulas. I guess. The designs are definitely a, a little more a little more creepy in these versions, in this game. This giant species of spider inhabits the deepest areas of the forest. A tough outer carapace, yeah. Yeah, it's stomach. I've defeated two of this enemy type. I am unable to analyze your battle forms with its opponents due to insufficient data. Great, so the question is, how do I get a how do I get around? I want to get around. No. I want to go around. Can I run? Nope. <laughs> um, actually, the other... Hold on. The other idea that I have... This is probably what I'm supposed to do. Aw, oh, what the heck? He's literally... He's literally watching me. He's not gonna let me, uh... Okay, so he's not gonna expose his stomach that way, is he? Oh, okay. Then how am I gonna get past him? That's the real question. How am I gonna get past this dude? Okay. You there! I've dealt with enough of your crap. Get down from there and fight like a real man. Or spider, I guess. Maybe I can do the shield against him. Come at me. Come on. Come on. No. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Oh, my shield is like gonna <laughs> be destroyed in like two seconds. Okay. Not the best idea. So what the heck? Okay. So the question is how... Are there any ropes I can swing across here? That door's locked, so I can't go there, and I already went over there to raise the, um... To raise the water level, so I already hit that dude, so what's the problem? I tried a Skyward Strike, right? Yeah, I don't want to do that again. Help me, Fi. I know my hearts have decreased. Uh, I do have a potion, actually, right? How do I access that, uh... Oh, there we go. Vitalizing potion, revitalizing potion. Actually, that also... Oh, nice. That also actually increases my, my shield. Spin? Oh, a spin. Ah, I see. Smart. Okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you for the tips, Logical. I guess that makes sense. I figured out. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. I had him. I so had him. Can I... Okay, there we go. I'm gonna stun him. And then... Ah. Uh... Come on. I totally get him with a Skyward Slash. Can I seriously not get him with that? Spinning just turns him around, right? Okay, well that did nothing. This is a puzzle in of itself. I am... I just completely missed him. Nice. Okay, so I can spin... Nope. This is a puzzle. This is the, the, this is the toughest puzzle in the game. How to kill a spider. Okay, well thank... I, okay, I figured out the spin part. Can I seriously not, like... Hmm... What other moves do I have at my disposal? I'm trying to think. Well, I guess I'm doing the other potion. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. So I can spin, but what else can I use against it? The slingshot straight up didn't work. Not even the skyward strike works. Okay. Not even gonna let me get the spin out, eh? Okay, fine. I'm trying to. I want to read what that stone says. You have to when you give it tips or not. Just let me know. Oh yeah, no worries. Um, but what if I try? Actually, speaking of 
Speaking of tip, now that you mention it, what if I poke him? No? Okay. Nope. I feel like that stone might say something important. Why? I'm just trying to think. Why? Because I swear the Skyward Strike worked before. So why would it all of a sudden no longer work? Let me try it again. Come on. See, like, I feel like... Yeah, so what am I missing here? Sloshical, I'm missing something. What am I missing here? Because, like, I swear I should be... I'm hitting him right at his core. So why is he not... I can... Do I have to stab him? Like, poke him in there? Maybe? Oh, there we go. Hold up. You gotta do the poking thing, don't you? Oh, it only works when they're on the ground. Okay. You're on mobile, so delay like 30 seconds. Oh, no worries. Um... Yeah, I mean, I also have, because, um, because I have the closed captioning on it, YouTube makes you, um, the closed captioning YouTube also makes you, like, delay the, the um, comments a bit. But, okay, I think I have it. I gotta poke him. So, there we go. He's done. Okay. So, I gotta do the spin and then the little poke. Got it. Two doors. <laughs> that was the toughest puzzle. I'm telling you, just how to kill spiders. You bet I didn't have any of, like, that, um spray stuff. I don't know if, like, the spray actually works on spiders. I know, like, obviously bees, you got that, but two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, what is below. Two doors lead to rooms left and right. Right, okay. So... Okay, I'm in the room with the gemstone, actually. One is above, one is below. So there's gotta be a... Oh, hold up. I see something down there. Probably have to get down there. Can I get over there yet or no? Probably not, right? Okay. Probably not. I see this little hold up. Gemstone's gotta be in here. So I just wasted my time doing that, didn't I? Oh, rats. I also don't have any um any seeds. That's not good. Um Yeah, you know what? I need to get some seeds first. I just realized I ran out of seeds trying to figure out what to do against Yeah, I'm telling you, Sloshical. Then dang spiders. They're ruining it. They made me use up all my seeds. I almost died. I had to use up both of my potions. Why is it crazy? Okay. I need to get more uh, seeds, though. I literally can't get any farther without getting more seeds. So let me see if I can... Um... Hopefully I'll find something around here. Hank it over there. I'm going to have to just go back and try to get more seeds. Yeah, you know, blue rupee's nice, but I also have max rupees, so some seeds would be great. Thank you. I swear, if the spider respawns, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to guess no, because the enemies aren't respawning in this room. I hope so, at least, but let me see. Any, uh, any seeds I can get? I don't know if I can destroy those, um, the kind of grass blades there, because I'm, uh, swimming in the water. I'm going to guess no. There we go. Okay, we're good. Not too far. Which is good. I gotta be more careful with those seeds, I guess. They're just limited supply. I swear, if that spider's back, <laughs> we're not gonna have a good time. Nah, okay, we're good. <laughs> I figured we're good. I was just... I don't know. You never know when the game's gonna mess you up. I think it would've been like, you know, just for me, would've made me refight that spider all over again. Okay. Shoot you... All right, there's the two gemstones. That should unlock the door out there. All right, so it raises the water level. So may it probably doesn't just unlock the door. It just kind of makes it so I can access some of the higher up areas. Gotcha. Oh, and you know what? How do I dive again? I completely forget how to swim. Um, it's got to be something with the motion controls, right? Oh, wait, no. I guess, can I not swim? I thought I could swim underwater for a bit, but... Maybe I could. Maybe I'm too high up. I'm not sure. But either way... Oh! What is this? What are these little, like... It looks like some kind of soil or something I can dig up, but I don't think I can do that right now. So, it's unfortunate. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to come back to that later. But, um... I wonder, can I get across now? 
Possibly? Maybe? Nah, okay, I can't. I'm gonna have to come back here. I'm guessing I'm gonna raise the water level even more, and when I do that, I'm gonna come back here. Oh, you can die, but I just can't yet. Okay. Good to know. So this must be some kind of upgrade or something. I'm guessing there's, like, some equivalent of, like, you know, like, the, uh, the water temple or, like, Zora's domain that's gonna have some kind of upgrade like that. But, you know, Link must be pretty strong to be able to lift those doors on his own. I'm just saying. This dude's working out. Link, you been working out, buddy? Nah, it doesn't look like it. He's pretty lazy, so I guess it wouldn't be. Um, okay. I don't have a key, I don't think. Is there... Yeah, it would probably tell me if I had a key. The door is locked tight and will not open. Yeah, I figured. Um, uh, okay. I will say, I really like the atmosphere in this dungeon. It's kind of creepy. So I can see what people mean by, like, liking the dungeons in this game. Um, okay. So I raised the water level a bit. So now that those two are done... Oh, I bet you that's the key. So, okay, hold up. Right, because I can go over here now, so we're going to circle around and get the, uh, get the key that way. That should be good. I'm slowly getting used to the controls in this game, I will say. Yay, more hearts. No, come on. Oh, Come on, you saw that. <laughs> I had that heart. Oh, I could have so could have used that. Wow, okay. Okay, Skyward Sword, you be like that. You be like that. All right. Got another dude. This one. Okay, hold up. I gotta. Uh... Come on. Ah, th these guys are tough because they swing all over the place. There we go. They really swing all over the place, so it's kind of tough to like, you know, the the poking is pretty difficult. Oh, we got two guys. Okay. I probably gotta like be. No. Probably gonna do it to them both, right? At the same time, I'm guessing. I don't know why I'm doing both, uh, I don't need to do both, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I was doing both hands, I don't need to do that. I don't know. Used to moving him in, in tandem, I guess. Okay. There we go. This should, I'm guessing it's just a key. Right, to get that door unlocked earlier? There we go. A small key, at that. This game, this is, this is making me really miss, like, traditional dungeons in, in uh, Breath of the Wild. I really hope they do implement that somehow in Breath of the Wild 2. Like, I mean, I didn't mind the shrines too much, just they got, they got a little repetitive over time, especially because they were all themed very similarly. Um, and then same thing with the Divine Beasts, you know, I really hope they do um, try to return to some form of traditional dungeons. Like, if the shrines are still there, honestly, I'd be fine with that as, like, little mini challenges to do. But, like... Instead of the Divine Beast, like, having, like, proper dungeons, maybe somehow in the sky, I think I might have talked about them in the previous uh, Skyward Sword stream, but somehow maybe, like, having them up in the sky, like, in the floating islands in the sky that we saw, um, you know, that would be, that'd be cool. I don't know. We'll see if they do it, but I know a lot of people were hoping for that with Breath of the Wild 2, but we'll see if they do it. If they don't do it, it's not like it's going to make it a bad game at all. You know, it's, it's going to be... It's most likely going to be a really good game either way. I'm just, I'm curious to see what they come up with, but... Lots to look forward to with that. I feel like it's it, it might get delayed to, um... 2023. Hopefully they do add Dungeons Breath of the Wild 2. I got many theories about the game. Yeah, I know, um... I don't remember if it was last stream or the one before, Sloshical, that you were, uh... Throwing some theories out there. Like, yeah, I mean, there's so much to theorize about because we don't know, I mean, that much still about the game, you know? There's still so much we don't know. This is a very open area. Um, there's a lot we have to learn about Breath of the Wild 2 still, and, I mean, I don't even know what we're going to hear about it next, to be honest, but I really, I hope it doesn't, I really hope it doesn't get delayed to 2023. I'm guessing, as of now, it's probably going to be holiday 2022. Hello, friend. Okay, yeah, there we go. If I kind of wait for him to attack a bit, it's easier to, uh, to actually get him. Oh, wow. Okay. What time am I at? Yeah, about almost an hour. Yeah, this whole stream is probably just going to be this dungeon, which is fine. I mean, that's kind of what I expected. Zelda's 3D Zelda dungeons tend to take a while. So. Ah, attack everybody. There we go. There's no point in me collecting those rupees. I am completely stocked. No need. Okay, let's bird statue over here. Good.
Okay. I should probably address the elephant in the room about the, uh... The reason why I wasn't streaming last Thursday. It's nothing to do with, uh... Hold up. They said they'll keep updating this year and next year, and honestly, I think it could come out as early as March. That would be great. I mean, well, assuming it's not rushed. Like, they, as long as they don't rush it, which I don't think they will. Um, I mean, look at the original Breath of the Wild. They took their time with that, right? And it came out It came out to be a great game. Uh, all right, dude. I see you. Here we go. Little pokey. Little pokey stab. There we go. I'm getting the hang of that now. Um, I don't think they would rush it, but, like, I mean, if it's ready for... Um... Yeah, updating with news. Yeah, that would be... Um... Yeah, well, we'll, I think we'll definitely, we'll get some news this year. I really think we will. Probably near the end of the year. Maybe that's a Game Awards thing. I don't know. But, like, um, I feel like we'll get some amount of news this year. You know, maybe a little bit. But it, it would be cool to kind of see a little updated bit of that. Because they did, uh, Anuma did say that, um, that, what am I trying to say? Um, they didn't reveal a title. At E3, because I guess right revealing the title would be too much of spoilers. Um, so, like the fact that um, you know we don't even know the title yet. So there's still there's a main there's got to be some kind of main component of the game we don't even know about yet. So they could reveal that this year. They could do that next year. I believe it was a holiday 2021 game. Oh yeah, no 100. percent I I agree with you, Sloshical. It probably would have been a 2021 game. Maybe even a 2020 game? I don't know. I mean, they did announce it back in 2019, right? Originally, that was the original reveal. Um, I already saved there, I think. So, I can I not go in there? Oh, there's got to be some, uh, some, a little, uh, thing I can shoot. Can I shoot that crate? No? Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I think, yeah, I, I agree. It probably would have, they probably planned for it to be, a. Uh, a 2021 game, and then they were like, you know, we're not gonna make it because of COVID. Which I mean is, is the right decision. If you know, if you gotta delay a game, it's just it means it's gonna be better quality later, right? So, hey, well, I can't go over there yet because I don't have any um, don't have a key. So the question is, oh, what? No, I can't go in there. Oh, I, I can. I can just shoot this guy. Okay, got the little uh, crystal I can shoot. But yeah, I'll be curious to hear more about it. I, I'm looking forward to that, but. Anyways, yeah, so the reason why I didn't stream last Thursday, I mean, I just, I kind of just wasn't in the mood, but it was especially, I mean, the whole, I don't want to talk too much about it, but the whole, oh, wait, hold up. The whole Activision Blizzard thing, right? It's just like, this is a mini boss. It just like put me in a terrible mood. It just like reading about it, just all that shit that this is honestly like disgusting, the stuff that they, they um, the allegations and the whole lawsuit and everything. Like, I don't want to talk too much about it, like I said. Um, because it's not worth, like, going in depth. I mean, if you want to know more about it, you know, definitely, um, it's all over Twitter. So, like, look at it then. Um, you want to, ooh, I'm not doing good here, am I? Ooh, that's not good. Okay. What actually happens when I die in this game? I'm curious to see. But, yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it. It's just kind of, a uh, kind of just put me in a bad mood on, uh, on Thursday, so that's kind of why I wasn't really in the mood to stream. Okay, I'm still here, so it's like it didn't take me very far. Um, I guess that's probably a key, too. It's actually been in development since around the same time the DLC for the first game was being made. So it's been at least for development for four years. Yeah, wow, it actually has been in a while. Yeah, no, if you if you saw it, you already know what happened. It's just it's disgusting. We're not going to talk about it. But all I'm going to say is that, like, if you want to know what you yourself can do, like, whoever's watching, or, um, whoever's watching this, if you want to know what you yourself can do to, like, help prevent that kind of stuff, just, like, don't be a bystander. Like, if you see that stuff happening, call it out and put an end to it, you know? If someone's being discriminated against based on, like, gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, any of that, just literally, just put an end to it if you see that. That's all I'm going to say. Um... And to, the reason why I bring that up is because I was actually, I was going to stream Crash 4 after Skyward Sword, but I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm still going to play the game because I own it. Like, I already, I bought it before all the news came out. Um, so I'm still going to play it. I just do not want to, uh, I don't want to stream it. I would just, I, I, I don't want to give more attention to that game than is needed. So, um... 
yeah, I'm not gonna be streaming that game anymore. But like at the same time, probably wouldn't have gotten many viewers on that. So, um, but yeah, that's why I wanted to bring it up. That's all I will say about it. But okay, there we go. Wailing on this guy now. Okay, there we go. Come on. Ah! If I do a Skyward Strike against him, will that uh, that'll probably do a decent amount of damage, huh? No? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. There we go. I gotta, like... It's all about timing the positioning of the attacks, honestly. Is that it? Oh, okay. He comes in my died. He was a skeleton. Um, I know normally the, um... I'm guessing that was a stall post, right? Um, normally in Zelda games, you'd have to, like, you know, place the bomb on top of the stall post, and then he, uh... Is it a stall post? I might be thinking of the wrong name, I'm not sure. Um, normally you'd have to, like, place a bomb on top of it in order to destroy it, but... I think, I think that's only some of the older games. Oh, the beetle! Right, the only reason I know about the beetle is because of Smash Bros. Because it was an item. Um, you got the beetle, the unexplained power contains... Okay, right, and so you actually get to, like, control this dude, which is cool. Point the cursor where you want it to go and press ZR to send it soaring. Nice, okay. I'm curious to see, some of the items in this game definitely interest me. Like, um, the beetle seems really cool. I think the gust... Correct, it's logical, correct me? Yeah, okay, stop post, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the gust bellows, which is that item in Smash Brothers, I think that's an item Link can get in this game too, although I could be wrong. Um, right, it's an insect like profile, it indicates wings that can fly. Yeah, that's cool. You can remotely pilot the device. The sharp, sharp structure on the front of it can sever threads. Okay. So that's cool. Okay, and it has like little pinchers in the front so I can cut stuff. That's cool. <laughs> I could kill spiders with it. Well, maybe not, but... Skull pillows, whatever. They really don't look... I, I, it's going to take me a while to get used to that skull pillow design just because they don't... I mean, I can guess I can kind of see the skull on like their bodies, but like it doesn't, it doesn't look as much like the Sculptulas in uh, the other games. Oh, okay, I gotta use, I'm guessing I have to use the beetle. Where do I gotta put him? Ah, I see, okay. So let me select him. See how this works. Whoa, okay, I gotta use motion controls to pilot it too. Is it just the right Joy-Con? Yeah, it's just the right one. Okay. Where are we going? Does it use stamina or anything? Or just keep going, I guess, huh? I wonder, do I have to hit? I probably have to hit that crystal again. Where am I? Where's the beetle? Where's the beetle? I probably have to hit the crystal again to get out, right? Oh, it does have a timer. Okay. Sorry, beetle. The Gus Bellows is in the game. Right, okay. So I, I thought it came from this game. I just wasn't sure. That's honestly super cool. I'm not going to lie. That's actually a really cool item. I like it. All right. So now that I have that, I can actually use that to, like, access some areas up here. Which uh, I'm probably going to need. I did... No, I didn't get a key. There's something over here. There's, there's a door over here, so I, I gotta be able to get in there somehow. There's some holes in the wall up there. I'm going to check those out with the beetle, I think. There's got to be something up there. In terms of other games I was going to stream, right, the next, like... I don't know if I'm going to be buying any new games until uh, Metroid Dread comes out. I, I kind of want to stream that, like... I'm going to be in my new apartment at the time. I kind of want to stream that, like, lights off. Maybe, like, you know, the the webcam has the, the ring light on it, so I maybe use that for some light. I kind of want to stream that, like, lights off, just, like, per complete darkness, just to see what happens, because I think that would be so cool. Because that game is going to be terrifying. I'm ready for that game. I'm so excited for that game. Ah! Aha, there we are. There we go. That'll open that door. There's gotta be something in those higher up areas too, I wonder. I wonder if there's any pieces of heart in this dungeon, actually. I didn't even think of that. There's a little small hole up there. I could check it out after. But yeah, let me go in here. I'll get the dungeon here. But I am I'm so looking forward to Metroid Dread, I'm so hyped. Um That's gonna be a fun game. But that's going to be, like, probably the next, like, new game I'm going to stream. Um, 
I'm guessing Skyward Sword's gonna take me a while, especially because I only stream like three times a week usually. It's it's gonna take me a while to complete. I'm guessing. Um, Zelda games are very long, so I'm gonna be playing this one for a little while, um, and then I'll probably have some in between time for another game after that. Um, oh, I can use the beetle now. Go get him, friend. Hold up. There we go. Go get him for me. Yay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, uh, I just hit the thing and then fell off. Poor beetle. Okay. So it looks like I can still go in here. This, I'm guessing this is just the key. But I've got some ideas for games that I could stream after this game. It, it all depends on how long it's going to take me to beat this game. I'm guessing it's going to be a while, so... Expect more Skyward Sword HD streams for a while. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, he's crawling. How did I, uh... There we go. Oh, right, okay. I gotta flip him up. You really gotta think about how you attack enemies in this game, huh? It's all about... It's all about the precision. You know, all about the precise, like, uh... Knowing where to hit enemies. Like, that is honestly... It's kind of cool, but you have to think about it more, you know? I don't know, it's, it's kind of it's cool. But I always forget about it. I'm like, oh yeah, I actually gotta, like, hit it a certain way. Okay. Both... All three eyes. Come on. All three eyes. Let's get him open. Because if I do just these two, it's not going to... Oh, hello. Huh. Can I do one at a time, maybe? Do I not have to do them all at once? No, he's not getting dizzy. I probably have to do it from up here, right? I need all three of them open at once. I'm just going to need to be higher up. Let me see. Can they all see me from here? Hmm. No? Hmm. Really? I figured they would have been able to see me from here, no? That's kind of weird. Can I, like, knock these boxes down with the, the beetle, maybe? I don't know if they would do anything. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, they give you items. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, uh, I don't know if it's going to give me anything, like, super useful that I need to open that up, but let me see. Oh, there we go. Okay. Never mind. I probably will need that. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. Zelda puzzles, am I right? Okay. Extra hearts are always good. Hey, Hero of Twilight. I don't know uh, what your message was, but uh, it says it was retracted. So, not sure about that. Unless, you, you know, you, you were being a dick, in which case, yeah, just get out of the stream. But, uh, <laughs> if it was something productive and worthwhile, it was retracted for whatever reason. Okay, so yeah, this will... This will let me get the other guy, too. Okay. That's about in the middle, right? Maybe? There we go. Okay. Hello, friends. Time to make you all dizzy. There we go. Alright. I'm guessing this is just a key to unlock the other door that's locked right now. Let me see. It's gotta play the animation of a heavy key, right? Every little key I get. Nice. Okay. So now, where am I at now? Okay, yeah, so I just gotta go out that way, and that'll get me to Zelda. Cool. Good stuff, making good progress. I said something bad about flies earlier, but YouTube didn't post it. Wait, really? Hold on, but it, it didn't say... There wasn't a retracted message from you. Huh, that's so weird. <laughs> I guess you, YouTube loves flies, apparently. That's just, uh... They're just, they're just some fly lovers over there. Clearly, that's what's happening. What is that little, uh... I'm not gonna be able to jump over that gap, right? There's no way I can make that, right? No, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Link, you took a tumble there. Let me, uh... Let me see. Yeah, I never said it was retracted. Yeah, it just, it just posted it. That's kind of weird. It just, like, literally posted it, and that's it. 
Okay, what happens when I hit this dude? Oh, okay, it's just gonna raise the water level a bit. Okay, that's good. Ah, so now I can get over there. There we go. Oh, because I'm guessing I can't get out of here any other way, right? I gotta go this way. That would be my guess, but okay. Let me... Alright. Hello, Mr. Spider. I know how to handle your kind now. Mr. Skulltula. Your little flip. Look at that. Weird. Fly biased. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Sloshical. They're definitely biased against flies. There's just some flies over there. Some fly lovers over there. <laughs> we here at YouTube love our flies. Like, okay. Name one good thing flies have done for the ecosystem. I'll wait. <laughs> I will wait. <laughs> There we go. Okay, cool. So that was just to get out of there. Good stuff. While I was away at my uh, my sister's house for a few days, right? I had I had my Switch with me. I actually did play a bit of Monster Hunter Rise one night with uh with some previous coworkers of mine because they were they were the ones who got me into Monster Hunter. You know, I had never played a Monster Hunter game before. And then I I I think I have like 25 hours in Rise, so a decent amount. Um and once you get used to the controls, it's actually pretty fun. Very, very complicated. A lot of stuff you have to, um... A lot of different mechanics you have to figure out. Can I... I was gonna use the beetle. Oh, I have an idea. The beetle. Um, yeah! Take him out in one hit. That's what we like to see. Alright, curve this way. There you go, little beetle. Ah, oh, so close. No, you're gonna miss him. Ah, oh, rats. Okay. Try it again. Try it again. But yeah, so I played a little bit of that. I had my Switch with me. I was playing a little bit of Monster Hunter Rise when I was there. Um, I was also playing a lot of Project Cross Zone 2. That game is a guilty pleasure of mine. So, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if um, any of you watching know what it is. Essentially, I gotta get the other guy. Um, it's weird. It's like, think of like a combination of like Fire Emblem. It's like a strategy RPG. And also like Smash Brothers. So it's super weird. Try Monster Hunter Rise, but it wasn't for me. Yeah, it is, um... It's definitely hard to get into, um... At first. There's just so much you have to keep track of, but, like... I was able to get into it after a while, and, like, I just... I really like the monster designs, and just, like, exploring. It kind of reminded me of Exploration Breath of the Wild a bit in some of those uh, arenas that they have, so... I got used to it, and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit, just I haven't stuck with it for a while. Um, but, yeah, so Project Cross Zone, if you don't know what it is, essentially it's, like, a... It's a strategy RPG, but then, like, once you actually engage in combat... I know, I, I said I wasn't an RPG guy, right? Um, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, though. What the hell is that? Okay! <laughs> okay! How do I roll again, actually? Is it... Oh, it's, it's A. Okay, I gotta use the A button. There we go. Do I have to hit all three at once, maybe? Uh oh, <laughs> that was bad. Um, there we go. So it's a strategy RPG, but then like once you actually engage in combat with an enemy, it's almost like you know, like you have like your different uh, command and you know, like your, um, not commands, but you have your different moves in Smash Brothers where you do like you know neutral special, which is just like the B button. You do your side special, which is side and then B up special, up and B. It's kind of like that, and so like. Those are, like, your actual... You have a limited number of attacks per turn, and, like, you do those different moves, and it gives you different attacks when you actually engage in combat with an enemy. Um, the main gimmick of it, the whole point is that, like, it's um, Sega, Capcom, and Bandai Namco characters that kind of cross over in the same game. So it's, like, you don't play it for the story. The story is all over the place, but you play it for just to see all these characters interact. So, like, um, Sega, I know, has some characters from Yakuza. There's, um... Sega has a lot of deep cut characters in there, like uh, a lot of Sakura Wars characters. There's, um, I think they got Axel from Streets of Rage in there. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. There's a bunch of them. Ula La from Space Channel Five's in there. I was kind of, I wish they, if they made a Project Cross Zone Three, I was hoping they'd have like uh, Jet and not Jet, Beat and Gum from Jet Set Radio, because um, that would be cool. They have like these, a bunch of these pairs of units on your team that have like two characters, and then you have a support as well. Um, Capcom has, like, you know, Ryu and Ken, uh, Chun-Li's in there, um, Morgan from Darkstalkers. They had Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins in the first game, but not in the second one. 
Um, what are the Capcom characters? Oh, X and Zero for Mega Man X. Then Bandai Namco has like a bunch of Tekken characters that I don't, I'm not too familiar with, but they're in there. Um, I think some Tales of some, I don't know if it's Symphonia. It's one of the, um, I used the beetle here. It's one of the, how? Oh, I'm actually getting close to Zelda already, wow. Um, one of the uh, Tales games, it might be Symphonia, I'm not sure. But one of the Tales games, they have Tales of characters in there. But they're they're mostly like the humanoid characters, and so you, you play it for the crossovers just to see all these like characters interact that you never see. Oh, like Dante and Virgil can definitely cry are in there, but that's Capcom. Um, it's just cool to see all these characters interact. Um, Resident Evil characters, they got a bunch in there, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know a lot of the characters, but like it's still just fun to play. It's very flashy. It, the gameplay gets repetitive, though. I will say, and it's a they're both games are very long, so. Um, I never completed it though. Project Cross Zone 2, I think it came out in 2016 and I bought it when it came out and I just never, I never, I can never beat the final boss. So that's my goal right now is to, to beat that. Um, so I'm also playing that game in my spare time. Like I said, Slosh Goal earlier in the stream, like I'm playing too, I feel like I'm playing too many games now. I have too many games I got to play between this and uh, I've been playing a bit of Doom Eternal. I got to finish that up. Can I hit this with a slingshot? No. Okay. Um, and then also, yeah, Project Cross Zone 2 I've been playing. So, uh, I've got like so many games I'm playing at once. It's a, I'm not used to this. Let me see if this guy's gonna. <laughs> okay, it does. Just takes like one hit each. Okay. Okay, it works though. It works. I'll probably need it when I get over there to swing across these vines. I am not great at swinging on the vines, by the way. It just never ends too well. <laughs> at least for me. But okay, is there anything else I can do? I can go over there. That's got to be... Maybe that's the boss key. The boss dungeon key. I can hit this guy. Might as well use the beetle instead of the uh, the slingshot to conserve ammo. Boom. There we go. Trying to finish a lot before the next one comes out. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's, it's tough. There's so many games to play. And especially with like all the first party games that were coming out this year. So many. I was so interested in a lot of them. Um, I already played, I played, um, Super Mario 3D World on Wii U, so I wasn't gonna get the Bowser's Fury one, but, like, Pokemon Snap, I was, I was tempted to get Pokemon Snap. Um, then they got WarriorWare coming out, which looks really fun. Um, this is where it came from, isn't it? Oh, this door, right, it's just unlocked this door. Um, uh, Metroid Dread's coming out in October. No More Heroes 3 comes out next month, and, like, some of the footage looks a little rough, so I don't know if I'm gonna get No More Heroes 3. I mean, I, I love No More Heroes 2, especially. Um... But, like, that game looks good. Sonic Colors Ultimate's coming out in September. Which I've played the original, but, like, hey, let's fight. Come on. You and me. Come over here. <laughs> Just try. Oh, no. I'm being attacked. I don't like this. Hold on. I'm going to go to the edge. I'm going to go to the edge. Come on. Go to the side. Go to the side. Come on, Link. Link, side. There you go, buddy. Now I'm going to shimmy. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was going to work. There's another guy who comes up. Where does he show up from? How does he get over here? Where is he? Somehow the dude shows up. Okay, you know what? I can probably... I should be able to take him out somehow, right? I can stun him. That's about it. But he doesn't say stun for long, huh? Why is the camera like that? Okay. And I can't... There's another dude that shows up. He somehow shows up. Oh, well, he would, he did before. I don't know what happened. Like, I try to back up, right? He's gonna show up. Just watch. He's gonna show up. How did he get there before? I don't know how he got there before. I swear there was another dude coming from behind me. <laughs> Come over here and fight me like a man. I if I can poke him from here, actually. No. Okay. Not sold on Metroid Dread yet. Getting Monkey Ball, Warrior Wear. Yeah! Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania looks great. I've never played Monkey Ball, but those games look really fun. Um, I'm a big fan of Sega games in general, so, like, I kind of want to try it. Bye! <laughs> nice. Um, and, yeah, Mario Party, the the Superstars, I think it's called, looks great. Even though, I mean, it, yeah, it's like a... Almost like a reimagining of, like, the, the N64 boards, then with all the mini games, but that looks great. Um, yeah, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, Advance Wars looks cool. Advance Wars is 60 bucks, so, like, I don't think I'm gonna get it just because I've never played it, one of them, and, like, I mean, it seems, like, a bit much. I mean, it is the first two games. It's both the... both games, I guess, so there's that, but... 
Yeah, I mean, if you're not sold on Metroid Dread yet, like, yeah, like, it, it goes back to that discussion of, like, you know, buy the games that you feel are worth it to you, you know what I mean? And, like, don't, don't get mad at people for wanting to buy certain games, you know what I mean? It's just, the, there's, there's no need for that, right? But, like, you know, there's so much discourse on Twitter and, like, online, it's just, like, this game isn't worth this much money, it's not worth full price. And it's like, okay, if you say that, it's not worth it to you, maybe, but to some people it is. Like, to me, Metroid Dread is worth the $60. To some people, it won't be. You know, so it's up to you to make your own personal, uh, personal decision about whether, you know, you think it's worth it to you or not. I'm, can I reach that vine from here? Uh, I don't know if I can. It's gotta be a boss key though, right? Because yeah, I need a key to get in here. Right, it's the boss key. I need the boss key there. I guess I can go up here. I don't think I can make that jump, so maybe I just need to go up here to get get over to the boss key first. The last like four to five Mario parties have disappointed me. Oh really? That many? I know a lot of people. Well, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I've heard some people liked eight. I played a bit of eight at my friend's house before, and like it was okay. Um. It definitely wasn't it wasn't like amazing or anything but it was still it was pretty solid um so i think i was supposed to uh, grab that rope oh well um but that that was pretty fun but like i understand about like nine and ten like i know like that is not those ones are not looked favorably upon at all what i've heard but i am definitely not the one to ask about that because i am not i don't really play hey you just need to go for a second hold on um i don't really play many mario parties but um I liked Super, Super Mario Party I enjoyed for what it was. Um, I only got it because it was on sale, but it was okay. Um, but yeah, the, the new one looks good. It's like literally reusing old content, but like with the new art style and like... I mean, yeah, like that could be seen as like a money grab, but at the same time it's like... It's what people want, you know what I mean? That's the, game, the kind of game that people want and that's what they want, that's great. I've heard many good things about Metroid. Keep seeing all these posts and topics thinking about Metroid, I won't deny the lore. Yeah, Metroid has, like, crazy, like, background lore. Um, what's cool about this game, right, is that this is, like, the final game in the timeline as of now. And it's, like, there's been so much that Samus has gone through. Um, you know, since, since, like, the first game even came out. This is gonna be tough. Holy crap. Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I do not like what I'm doing here. There we go. Hopefully that should get me. Um, but yeah, no, that's understandable. Nice. It's understandable. Like, if, if, if you've never played a Metroid game, I will admit, it's like, it's it can be tough to get into. If it's not your type of game, you know, if you're not really a... Come on. Um, I swear, just grabbing vines in this game is literally the bane of my existence. Um, if you've never played a Metroid game before, it's definitely... I swear it's more difficult than it looks. Um... It's definitely, like... It's, it's very exploration-based with some combat here and there. There we go. Um, but, you know, if it's not your type of game, then yeah, it's not your type of game. And then it's not worth the money to you, then that's fine. You know what I mean? Um, but the cool thing is that they're, they're really hyping it up. Like you said, Nintendo's posting a lot of stuff about Metroid Dread. And it's just... It's really cool to see. The fact that they're literally... They're literally launching... There we go. The OLED model of the Switch the day Metroid Dread comes out. Like, they're really trying to make that game sell well, and I feel like it might. Um, because Metroid's never really gotten that big chance, except, like, maybe Metroid Prime on the GameCube, to where, you know, it can actually have a good chance to sell decently well. Um, oh, never mind. It's not a boss key. It's a golden carving. But it's gonna, it's gonna unlock the door. So that'll be good. Um... It's just, it's really cool to see Nintendo supporting Metroid for the first time in what feels like forever. Um, and especially with a classic Metroid game. I mean, they did have Samus Returns, which was a remake of Metroid 2. That was on 3DS four years ago. Um, and it's the same developer who worked on that game working on Metroid Dread. So that's really cool to see. Because they did a pretty good job. I liked Metroid. Uh, I liked Return of Samus a lot. Um, or Samus Returns, sorry. Return of Sam. It's so annoying. Return of Samus is the title of the second game, the original Game Boy version. And then Samus Returns is the 3DS remake. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, hey. I swear I'm balancing, okay? I feel like the gyro in this Joy-Con might be a little off. No. Ah, come on. I'm also very weird peculiar about my games. Music in a game. Music, yeah, is very important to you. Yeah, music can really make or break a game. Music I've heard, it doesn't really do for me. It's very atmospheric. So, like... 
Um, what do I? Oh, I gotta rotate it. Whoa, whoa! Hold up, <laughs> I gotta rethink this. I gotta turn it. Okay, I see. Oh, come on, come on. No, no. Okay, this way. Gotcha. Ah, I have it. I so have it. Hold up. Sorry, I gotta concentrate on this, and I'll get back to your comments. Logical. There we go. Get in. There we go. Um, yeah, Metroid music is very, for the most part, it's very atmospheric, and like usually nothing too like crazy. But like, if that's not your type, of, if that's not your type of music, then like, yeah, that's understandable. Um, yeah, music is definitely an important part of games, right? I mean, one reason why I love Sonic games so much. I mean, I just like the fast uh, gameplay style, but also because the soundtracks are almost always phenomenal. Um, when that's all a game has, it's kind of meant to me. Oh, it's boss! Oh, gear him! It's boss time. Um, is gear him the first boss? Interesting. Okay, but yeah, that's understandable. Like if a game, like if a music, um, look who it is. If certain game music isn't for you, like yeah, like this game has atmospheric soundtrack. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you probably like that. But yeah, like Metroid, a lot of it, it's there's a lot of environmental sounds and like a little bit of music here. So it's it's not for everybody. I understand. And the gameplay, too. Very exploration-heavy, a lot of backtracking, so if you're not really into that, then that's understandable. Um, I'm excited for it. I mean, I, I enjoy the Metro games quite a bit. I haven't played one in forever, but I'm I'm excited to, to try out Dread. It's just it's great to see Nintendo actually like giving it the love that franchise deserves. I thought the tornado I stirred up would have been tossed would have tossed and torn you apart, yet you're here. Oh, so you're the you're the douche who created the tornado. Okay. So he's the reason that Zelda fell down to the surface. Okay, Gary him. Not that your life or death is any consequence. Wow, okay. I think it would. He is the, he's like the hero after all. The girl that matters now, I can sense her beyond the door. Okay, so Zelda's in there. We plucked her majesty from the, her perch in the clouds. So yeah, he's after Zelda. Positively uncivil. <laughs> he is the demon lord who presides over the land you look down upon. You may call me him? No, Gear him, okay. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Gear Oh, sorry, Lord Gear him. Okay. And Link's like, you know what, I've dealt with enough like stupid people in my life. Like get out of here, come on. Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. Alright. We got the uh, we got the boss against Gear him, is that what's about to happen? I'm guessing we probably fight him multiple times in the game. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into her hands already. Our hands. Who could he be working for? Who knows? That loathsome servant of the goddess. Oh, Fi? The servant of the goddess? Any idea how that makes me feel inside? I don't know, you just get mad, huh? Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's very mad. Here he seems super cool. Like, I just like like the concept of him. And he's, he's got to be tied to Fi somehow. This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. <laughs> he's kind of creepy. Oh, he's going to do the tongue thing, isn't he? It takes all of my anger out on you, which is why I promised up front not to murder you. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gearyham. <laughs> you know I was going to capture that. <laughs> I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. Okay, let's go. We're going to battle gear him. He's got really cool earrings, by the way. I mean, his whole getup is kind of cool. I know him a little bit, but only because of Skyward Sword. Uh, not playing Skyward Sword. I know him a little bit because of Hyrule Warriors, but that's about it. All right, Gary Ham, what do you got, buddy? Uh oh. Oh no. Hey, hey, hey. Let go of that. Nope. Stop it. I have the power. No. Okay. He teleports. Fine. Then I'll just use the beetle against you. <laughs> no, I didn't do anything. No. Oh, stop it. You stop that now. Okay, gear him. You have no confirmed information about this man, and then he refers to himself as Demon Lord. Okay. His level of ability is highly adept. More info. Speech announcement indicates absolute confidence in his own ability. Yeah, he seems like a confident guy. A little bit a little bit of a prick. You must watch for Gearhim's ability to grasp your sword with his bare right hand. The angle you hold your sword at and prepares his defense accordingly. 
attacking from the direction opposite his hand. So what, the left hand? Okay, I see, okay. Oh no! Oh, okay, hold up. There we go, I'm getting him. There we go. I just gotta watch his hand, huh? There we go, we're getting it. There we go. We're getting it, we're getting it. Uh-oh, not there. No, no. No, no, no. Yeah, he's really not trying to attack me, huh? Okay, he uses up stamina too, that's weird. I had a good streak going on there too. Uh-oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, come on, dude. Come on. I'm trying to, like, yeah, I want to, like, uh... I had it before. I had a good streak going, and now it's like, uh... Oh. Oh, he's following me. That's why. There we go. I see. Yeah, look at it. He's literally following me. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm getting him. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. No, okay, he's got me there. Okay. Yeah, he's literally following me. I see. Okay. So if I if I literally if I trace like around, right? It gives me a bit of an idea of where he's gonna try to block me. Oh. All right, come on, gear him. There we go. No, got me there. Oh, got me there, buddy. It's tough. I will say, you gotta like... Oh, he's really following me now. Come on, buddy. Don't do this to me. No. Okay. I gotta just like, yeah, position it right. Right, because his hand goes up. His hand's following me everywhere now, so what's what's the deal there, huh? He's really keeping his word about not uh, attacking me, though. It's nice of him. Oh, I, t I totally had that. Can I do anything now? There we go. I'm gonna Skyward Strike him. It only worked on that one time. Okay. He's following me everywhere now. There's nothing I can do. I can't do anything. There we go. Okay. You know what's interesting is literally attacking the enemies in this game is a puzzle in itself. It's like I gotta like... Okay. I have the power! Ah, uh, I tried. There we go. I got him there. Okay. Oh, had enough yet? Okay, don't do that. <laughs> oh, now it's time. Now he's ready to fight. Where'd he go? Oh, there you are. Hello. There we go. Yeah, whale on him. A little bit of a waggle fest there, not gonna lie, but... Got to block there. That dealt a lot of damage. I'm surprised. Come at me. Oh, rats. That was my bad. Yeah, I, I ran into that one there. Get a couple of parts. I gotta time that, like, right. Ah, oh, come on, okay. I gotta get the hang of this. There we go. Got a few hits there. My shield's probably gonna break after a little bit of time, honestly. I think I gotta watch out for that. There we go.
trying to do a skyward strike on him. Get him in there. Okay. Come over here, gear him. Come on. Come on. Oh. There we go. Yeah, see, I can actually damage you for once. You put up more of a fight than I would have thought. Yeah. Link's the hero. That's the guy. That's the hero. That's him. Don't clap for yourself quite yet. That was tough, though. The, the hand part where he's moving the hand all over the screen, that got me. It was like you have to, like, kind of know, like, where he's not moving his hand and then strike him that way. So, that was, I, I will admit, that was a little difficult. Don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sort of yours is the only reason you still live. It kind of... The motion controls, like, make this game feel so much different than any Zelda game. Like I said, literally, it feels like a puzzle just to beat some of these enemies, which is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, I like that about it. Thank you. Thank you, Slashical. Yeah, it took me a little bit, but I was able to get it. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded. Oh, what? Did Zelda leave? I was coming here just to see Zelda. Okay, so I guess it's... Ge so Gearhim is the boss. Okay. Interesting. Bye-bye. Well, I guess we can't see Zelda. <laughs> oh, what do I get? Yay, her container. I wonder if, like, in some of the other Zelda games, you can just ignore the heart container. I'm guessing you can, but I've never done that. I know, like, some people like to do, like, a challenge run of these games, and, you know, they're, like, avoid all the heart containers you get from, like, the bosses or, like, any pieces of heart you find. But I've never been one to do that, really. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to beat the game, honestly. I'm not, like, that good at Zelda. I'm okay, but, like, certainly not one of the best, that's for sure. Um, okay, that's where I came from, so I gotta go this way. Out we go. Yeah, no Zelda. Zelda left already. Which is unfortunate. Because that was kind of our whole point of going there, right? Hmm. Fairy fountain? Maybe? Oh! These statues, right. Aren't these statues... Sloshical, you might know this. Are these statues, the, the goddess statues, aren't these the same ones in Breath of the Wild? Or they, they look very, very similar. So that also makes me think even more that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be tied into Skyward Sword somehow. Like, there's going to be a connection there. Yeah, yeah, like you say, yeah, recognize this place. Yeah, this is literally... Um, isn't this the one that Zelda goes to in Breath of the Wild and I think Age of Calamity? I'm pretty sure this is this is the, the place. It's the same statue design. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, I gotta do a Skyward Strike, right? Is there anything in this area? I'm guessing not, but... Come on, Link! <laughs> Strike the heavens! Ja! There we go. It's, it's definitely... It's, the, it's gotta be... It's the same design. That gives even more credence to the fact that it's probably gonna be tied to Breath of the Wild 2 somehow. Good job, Link. You did it! Congratulations! There's five. The same springs, yep, this is the one spring of power from Breath of the Wild, the one on the cutscene. Yeah, right, the one on the cutscene that she's in, right, okay. I remember that, okay, yeah, it's the same one. I have a, mess a message written in the language of the gods of old. From the edge of- <laughs> I like how she's dancing the whole time. From the edge of time I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. Right, so Zelda's trying to really, like, discover her powers as a descendant of the goddess Hylia, or a reincarnation of the goddess Hylia, right. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. Okay. Oh, so there's two, so we're at one of them. Okay. The other is the Earth Spring. Gotcha. The second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. Okay, we're gonna go to the Elden Volcano. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her. Okay, so she knows... So Zelda's aware of what's going on. Okay, so she went to the Elden Volcano or the whatever area it's called to get to the second spring. Okay. So are we just pretty much on a wild goose chase just trying to chase Zelda the whole time? Oh, and one of those fragments. Cool. One of the stone, ta the stone tablet fragments we can uh, clear up some paths in the clouds once we get back to Skyloft. 
the ruby tablet. Cool. There we go. Look at that first dungeon down. That was... I mean, I'll admit, that was a fairly solid dungeon. So, like, if the rest of the game is like that, and I've actually heard some of the other dungeons are actually even better, like, I'm looking forward to those. Especially the Ancient Sister, and I've heard good things. As I translated, so yeah, Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I bet Link wishes he saw that. 97% <laughs> chance that she's already set up for Elden. It's a pretty good chance, Five. What method of travel? Yeah, actually, how is Zelda moving? She's got to just be traveling on the surface. It's not like she's going into the sky, right? Take the tablet to the altar. Yes, yeah, so we can clear up the path in the sky. Yep. Gotcha. So that'll probably be next stream. I'll, I'll, I'll keep streaming for a little bit longer. It's only 840. Um, I do want to go back to Skyloft. And I know now that I have the slingshot um, beetle ship that's flying around in the sky, I think I have to shoot that bell to get him to land. And then I can actually get into his shop. So I can actually do some of the bug catching stuff and get the net. That'd be cool. The bird statue that transports you, ugh, transports you back to the sky should be in the forest. Right. Cool. There we go. There was a rupee up on the pedestal. I don't even know how I got that. Kikui. Hello, Kikui friend. How you doing, buddy? Oh, Machi, yeah. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> that would be so rude. That'd be a dick move. Sounds like you at least know where you need to search. Yeah. It is something. You're right. You're right, Machi. I like how Machi's seeing the positive side of things. I like to do that too if I can. Yeah, you found all your Kikui friends. With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for. I'm sure Link will. Bye, Machi. And there we have it. That was the first dungeon. Um... I don't know if there's any other exploring I can do. Maybe just in case I'll... Oh! <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Maybe just in case I'll explore a little bit. Um, in this area. I just kind of want to see... I do need more... Uh, I think I need more... Did it drop any seeds? I don't know. Um, just in case before I go back up to Skyloft. I just want to double check and make sure... Um, if there's anything I missed in the Faron Woods. From what I have heard is that in this game, there's only like a few, like like three or four main areas, and then you kind of revisit them over time. So I'm probably coming back to the Faron Woods at some point, um, which is an interesting idea. So I'm curious to see how it plays out. Oh, okay, all this stuff respawn. Gotcha. Where's our boy? Uh, what was his name? The um, Goron. Goron, buddy. Where's Goron, buddy? Ooh, not what I meant to do. Ah! Come on. No. Hey. Hiya. Come on, open up your mouth. You know you want to die. You know you want to die, Deku Baba. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I avoided him there, but okay, I'll take it. There we go. Not doing great on health right now. Ah! What? What just hit me? Oh, Octorok. I didn't see you there. Not glad the Octoroks are a little cute. Give me your health. Oh, okay. Congrats on playing your first dungeon. I'm going to head for the day. Yo, no worries. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, Sloshical. Um, I'm going to be streaming again on Saturday night at starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Just as a heads up. But yeah, no, I I, def I appreciate you stopping by again. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. The integrity of your shield has weakened. Be wary of the remaining durability. Oh, yeah, my shield. Yeah. My shield's a little, uh, little busted. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I can really explore right now. I think. I think, I just, I think I'm just gonna head back to Skyloft, honestly, but let me just double check to be safe. No, I don't need a ruby, but thank you. Let me see. Ooh, lots and lots of hearts. Uh-oh. Those bees are going to come after me. I'm not looking forward to that. No, no bees today. Okay. I'll check back on this area, too. Nice, sounds good. Yeah, have a good night. All right. Oh, look at the, 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 uh, the, peak, the Kikui squad over there. Maybe they got something over there that I can do. I'm not sure. 
Let me... I'm just gonna check it out quickly, just to make sure. I just want to make sure there's nothing else I can actually, like, do in this area. That's some kind of hookshot target up there, so that I can definitely... It's gonna be some kind of hookshot weapon I get later that I can do. Oh, there's the Elder. Hey, Lopso. You may not have noticed, but I'm trying to hide here. Wow. Talk about rude. Seriously. I see that you didn't find the girl in the deep woods. <laughs> Keep a leap. <laughs> you can't lose her. Thank you, Elder. I know I'll, I'll, I'll find I'll find her. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you point to us on the map to see your names appear. That's right. That's what I did, and it works. Thank you. Thank you for your insight there, Machi. Okay. I, I kind of just feel like there's probably not any other uh, places for me to explore right now. I don't want to spend too much time just kind of like, you know, frolicking around, around for no reason here. I'm gonna get used to this vine swinging. There we go, Link. There we go, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could explore. I see you. Don't poop on me again, I swear. He did it again! Oh, I think he missed me. Okay. Tried to. I saw that attempt. I did not like that. That's the sealed grounds, okay. I don't really... I don't really think there's anywhere else I can go from here, to be honest. Oh, I mean... If I'm gonna be coming back to this area later on in the game, then I'll just like check out check it out later, honestly. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna head back. Oh, there is a cube over there though. Is there a way I can get over there? Oh, you know what? I totally have to get up with that hook shot. That's probably what I have to do. I'll come back here later. I don't need to right now. Um, I spent enough time in Fair on Woods to be honest. Right. Time to head back to the sky. No, nope. Not nothing to do. Come on. Come on. There we go. I do want to return to the sky. There we go. Get back up there. I want to try to get to Beetle Shop and see if I can get maybe the, the, the bug net. The bug catching net. Anything else that Beetle's offering. You know. The goods. Maybe see if there's some side quests up there. Yeah, look, there are different floating islands up there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back to these controls. Gotta love it. Master Link, when you hit that goddess cube with the Skyward Strike earlier, I was able to- Oh, okay. A resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Oh, wild, okay. Breath of the wild, you might say. The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sense it. Okay, so it looks like these cubes, they'll add markers. When I hit them, they'll add markers to different islands in the sky on the map. That's kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, this I, I did destroy two cubes, so it looks like... Should I head over there now? Why the hell not? You investigate the area around this location. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not, Fi? You know what, I will, thank you. Okay, where do I need to head? There's one over here. I think I see it over there, right? That's it, I think. Ooh, boost. Is that the right place? Yeah, I think so. That's gotta be it. Looks like it. A pumpkin house. What the heck? How do I get there? How do I land? How do I land? How do I land? <laughs> Jump off the... Can I... Okay, there we go. It's the same button. <laughs> I like how he just lands like stomach first. That's funny. Okay, cool. So there are... Yeah, look at that. There are some other islands too. That's cool. Okay. So by destroying those cubes, it looks like I'll be able to get access to here. But okay, what's in here, actually? Might as well check it out. Are other Skyloftians aware of these islands in the sky? They've been there the entire time in the sky. Ever thought to look? They must be, right? Boom. Welcome to every bird rider's favorite stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. Pumpkin soup. Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe just a little. Appreciate the refined taste. The pumpkin soup. Fill her up. I wonder if it's just like a potion, just like extra pot potent, probably. Like, um, I know, like, the, um, I think, uh, oh, we'll get cold in five minutes. Should we have hot? Say no, it'll be cold in just five minutes. Good to know. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a piece of heart in the chandelier. How do I get that? The Lumpy Pumpkin. Look at all these NPCs. Look at this, the old guy over there says he saw a demon. We talking like, hear him? We talking demise? Or are we talking the imprisoned? I'm literally just gonna drink it now. I'm guessing maybe there's probably some kind of side quest I'm supposed to do. Um, involving a suit. You believe me, don't you? Sure. You're a good kid. What are you talking about, though? A fiendish demon living in Skyloft. In Skyloft? Is the imprisoned on Skyloft or in Skyloft? I think he's talking about the imprisoned. He must be. Hi. Hello, Kina. Welcome. I can see through your handsome outfit that you're a Skyloft knight. You could knock the rupees down by bumping something and making the shade of their shake, but don't even think about it. There's a piece of heart up there. Come on, Fina. Fina, there's a piece of heart up there. What are you going to do with it? Oh, yo, this guy's over here. What are you doing here, Stritch? I think it's you here. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you're really into bugs, okay. That's why I'm not collecting insects wherever I think I'll find them. Try and catch some. If you don't have one, you can pick one up at Beetle's Air Shop. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, so I can, uh... That's explaining the Beetle to me. Come on, there's gotta be a way I can, like... Come on. Yeah, there we go. She's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, what's about to happen? Like, dude, come on! It's a piece of heart. That's for Link. It's for it's, it's for my character Link. Hell yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> it was all worth it. What's he gonna make me do? I'm gonna take the rupees. What's up? That was an accident. Don't be surprised. My dad gives you royal chew now. Yeah, sorry, I slipped on a banana peel and I. Lying into a wall, and I knocked it down. All right, what's up, dude? <laughs> He's mad. Uh oh. There's a piece of heart. Like, look at it. <laughs> I just wanted a piece of heart. Uh oh. I gotta work for him now. <sighs> of course. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Bad quest. Right. Got to do something. I need you to deliver my famous soup oh, okay, to Aegis Skyloft's Knight Commander. The Knight Commander is a regular hero. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. Where would Aegis be in Skyloft? What do you say? You ready to deliver some soup? Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's go for it. Deliver it to the Knight Commander. And I gotta get there right until, um... In five minutes, I'm guessing. Hates cold soup, yep. Yeah. Deliver it in less than five minutes or the soup will get cold. Gotcha. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Go, go, go. We gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. Get out of here. Stop that soup. Okay. <laughs> Run like the wind, bullseye. Okay. Now, where the hell is Skyloft? Is it over there? I think that's it. That's it. Okay. That is Skyloft, right? Yeah, okay. I don't have time to visit the other island just yet. I'll go there after. I just gotta deliver this soup first. Here we go, come on, come on. In we go. Speed boots, there we go, okay, good, good, good. 
Oh yeah, it's helping a lot. Okay. I think he's gonna be at the academy, right? Probably. Would be my guess. The Knight Commander Aegis. Actually, no, wait. That's um, he's this dude over here. Drop me, my loft wing friend. Oh, can I not land on Skylock? That's not where. No, I want no. I don't want to go over here. Oh, he's right in here. Gotcha. That's actually okay. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that you could just drop wherever from the sky, uh, the, um, this is Aegis, right? This better be Aegis. Hell yeah, it is. Um, it's kind of cool that you can actually just fly around and just drive. It's almost open world-ish. It's kind of sick. Um, yeah, I got your pumpkin soup for you. I did. Just for you, Aegis. There you go. Chug it down. Glad you liked it. It's best pipe and hot. I got it too fresh, fresh out of the uh, fresh out of the pot. I will say thanks for you. Is that it, or <laughs> how many people I got to deliver the soup to? That's what I'm wondering. Am I at 856? Okay, it's been live for just about an hour. While I'm in Skyloft, well, first of all, I do have to go to the, uh, back to the goddess statue and put in that fragment so I can actually deliver that. Oh, what's up, uh, Alan? Find a bed and sleep if you start getting tired. Good point. Yeah, if it gets dark out. Definitely good to, uh, take a, take a little quick little uh, power nap. B &B. I've never been a napping person, to be honest, but, like, I understand why people do. I don't know if it's just because I drink too much coffee or what. I just have too much energy or something or what. But, like, I just I can't do it. Uh, want to go over there. I can't. There's no fast travel in this game, though, right? No fast travel, I don't think. But, yeah, okay. I can at least... Oh, it's right away. It's not even that far away. I can at least head over here. I want to put in that fragment now, and then just get that out of the way so it'll be ready for next time, right? We shall place the fragment in. There we go. So I'm missing, it looks like, probably two more pieces, I'm guessing, right? So there's probably four areas total? I think that sounds about right, right? There's Elden. Right, so Faron Woods. The Elden uh, Volcano, whatever it is. I know there's that, um, the mines, there's the mining facility or something like that it's called. Um, pretty sure that's one of the Metroid Prime areas, so I don't think it's called mining facility, but it's something like that. Uh, and then I'm guessing there's kind of like Zora water-based area too. Skies to the north. Right, okay, and that'll... Sounds good, Fi, and that'll get me uh, to the Elden area, so... That is what I will be exploring on next stream. Um, let me do a little bit... I'm debating. I'm trying to think how long I want to spend here. Because I can always do some of this stuff next stream too, but... I'll do a little bit. Oh, hello. Hey. Who are you? Oh. Rhyna. Kukil. Oh, the kid, right. Where did you go, Kukil? What will I do if she's kidnapped? I don't know. Oh. What's up, Rhyna? You missing your kid? Perfect time. You haven't seen my Kukil, have you? I have not. Okay, so I gotta look for her. I've been looking everywhere. I've asked everyone if I could find for help, and a few people said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. It's me, Link! <laughs> Carried off by a monster? Huh. Breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. You got it, Rhino. <laughs> Find my daughter quickly. Okay. Hey! What else do you have to say, though? Ooh. Find my daughter before anything bad happens to her. Yeah, I'll find your daughter for you. Don't worry. Hey! Mm. Okay, so her daughter's somewhere around here. Um, oh, look, it's uh, it's our boy... Uh, what's his face? Hey. Fledge. How's it going? Any luck tracking down Zelda? 
Kill's mother heading up towards the temple a while ago. She's pretty upset. Huh? I'll start looking too. There we go. Ask around and see if you can find somebody who's seen her. I will ask around, that's for sure. Figure out where she's gone. Hopefully no one's kidnapped her. That'd be bad. That would not be great. Um, I really... I, I want to go to Beetle Shop right now. Before I end the stream, at least. I want to go to his shop. Let me, uh... Beetle! Okay, cool. So then the, uh, there's a rope that lowers. Okay, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> Up we go! That's funny. I like it. And Beetle's, you know, the returning shopkeeper from, um... Right? He was in, uh, Wind Waker. I don't know if he was in any of the game, though. He's in Breath of the Wild, but I, don't, I think it's just those. Wow, he runs this whole thing himself, huh? That's impressive. Oh. Come all this way? It's so great to have a customer here. How do you stay... How do you stay in business? Everything you could ever want. If you actually buy something. I'll buy the bug catching net, that's for sure. Oh. How much are we talking? 50 rupees? Oh, that's nothing. Huh. I like it. I like your pun there. There we go. Nice, okay. That that literally reminds me of the Animal Crossing item wheel in that game. Okay, what else you got, Beetle? I'm curious to see. What is this? Extra wallet. Okay. An extra 300 rupees, but how much are we talking? Oh, 100 rupees? That's not bad at all. Let's do it. Yeah, give me extra. So I can hold up to 600 now? Nice. It does sue me, doesn't it? I'm a big boy, I like to spend all my big money. Okay, what is this little pendant thing? I'm just gonna buy all this stuff off of him. A life medal. Eight hundred rupees, yeah, no. It's gotta be, there's gotta be something it's useful for. Maybe it, like, doubles the amount of health you have or something. Okay, adventure pouch, yeah. Eh, 300 still a lot. That's all I can afford, Beetle, but, uh, I appreciate the other stuff. Oh, you can also, um, you can sleep in here, too. That's kind of, that's funny. Okay. Bye, Beetle. Thank you for the net and the, uh, what else did I buy? The, uh, the extra, the bigger wallet. That's good. Whee! Okay. So. Now I can hold up to 600 rupees? That is very good. What's up, my dude? Paro. Kukila's missing. Abducted by a monster. Yeah, that old dude at the, the tavern did say something about a monster. People say the creature appears in the dead of night. In the dead of night? I wonder if I have to wait until nighttime. Honestly, I probably have to wait until nighttime. And then, um. I can maybe catch the monster or something, right? Just maybe. Oh! Oh, it's this dude. Gully! What's up, Gully? It's Beetle's Airshop without me? That's so unfair. I'm sorry! Playing over by the great. That's not a good sign. The graveyard. Well, good to know that she was over by the graveyard. Um, okay, so how do I do this? How do I do this? No. How do I catch them? Huh? How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Gotta use the motion controls. Nice. Blessed butterfly. Look at that. Oh, don't tell me you can catch the spiders. Don't tell me you can catch the spiders in the dungeon. No. That's gross. I don't want to have to go back and catch spiders. <laughs> I don't want to do that. What's this dude doing up here? It's a cool looking dude. I'll go talk to him. I'm probably going to end the stream fairly soon. Um, got a little over two hours now. 
Just barely over two hours, but I, I like to keep him if I can keep it to two hours, but we'll see. Oh, oh, J Jackamar, this dude. Jakamar. Feels run off again. Oh, he's Rhina's husband? Okay. It's a cool kid we're talking about here. I bet you should just have like some. Wow, he's not concerned in the slightest. <laughs> let, it take, let me know if you see her. <laughs> I mean, she's your daughter. You might want to be worried about her. You have something else to say, Gully? Yeah, you already you already told me that. Right, the graveyard. I bet you the where is the graveyard, honestly? Where would that be? Oh, I see over there. Okay. Um Honestly, I'm probably just gonna save that for next stream and call it a stream here. Um, because it is about I'm a little over two hours now, but uh yeah, and I don't, I don't want to get too far into Skyloft stuff. I'll probably do some of that next uh, next stream, and then also, um, I don't I, I don't imagine exploring some of the Skyloft stuff will take me two hours next time. It could, I don't know, um, but I feel like oh, I should have done save and quit. I feel like it won't take me the full time. I mean, I, I do gotta, I need to explore the graveyard. I'm assuming at nighttime to figure out where Kukil went. And then, um, I probably have to go back to that pumpkin tavern, the Lumpy Pumpkin or whatever it was called, to report to my, my new boss, I guess. He got a new job, that's fun. But I'm not getting paid for it, so, uh, not ideal there, but... Okay, and I gotta get some orbs at some point, too, but I'm guessing that's not till later. But, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this stream, so pretty good progress overall, I would say. Um, you know, I was able to do the entirety of the... What was it called? The Skyview Temple, I think it was. Able to do that temple, fought gear him. Didn't run into Zelda, unfortunately, but we did get the Beetle weapon, which is honestly it's a, it's a pretty cool weapon. I, I like the, I like how Skyward Sword is starting to feel a little bit different. You know, a lot of the items in Zelda, I feel like, get a little bit repetitive over time. And I mean, some of them are staples, like the slingshot. I'm sure we're gonna get the bow and arrow, the the hook shot variant of some sort. But also, you got items like the Beetle, the Gust Bellows. Those are pretty cool. I like how unique they are. Um, the dungeons are, I mean, so far based on that Skyview temple, that was, I mean, very atmospheric, didn't like the spiders, but I mean, I can see what people mean by, you know, the dungeon designs being really good in this game. So, um, the gear boss was a little tricky, but I was able to figure it out, go from there and then, uh, exploring a little bit in Skyloft, but good to know those cubes actually like will pretty much, they'll, they'll, they'll make those, uh, smaller islands in the sky explorable, which is cool. Um, which I didn't even realize I was in the game until like I just found out like a few days ago, just watching some review or something. Uh, but that's really cool. So it seems like there's actually quite a bit to explore in the sky. Um, hopefully it's not as tedious as, you know, like um, some of the stuff in Wind Waker HD or just in Wind Waker in general, like with the Great Sea, like a l sometimes it got a little tedious. So hopefully not that bad. But I think that's going to do it for the stream. So thank you all for watching. If you did, I do appreciate it. Like I said, how, um, like I always say, however you watch these streams, whether it's live or the VOD after, I do appreciate it a lot. I will be back Saturday night, this Saturday night, so just in a couple of days, the 31st of July. Last day of July, I can't believe it's already going to be August already, that's crazy. Um, I'll be back that Saturday night, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, if anything changes, I'll update on my Twitter, which, uh, let me bring it back up for you, just so you can see. Uh, at Mega Amster is my handle on Twitter, so if I have any updates for um, any of the streams, you know, delays or anything, they'll be there. And uh, yeah, but um, look forward to that on Saturday night. I'll be going into probably a, a good chunk of it. At least probably an hour will probably be uh, some Skyloft quest and like exploring the sky. And then hopefully getting to explore the Elden area a bit too. And uh, we'll go from there. So thank you all again so much for watching. I do appreciate it, like I said. And I will catch you on the next stream. And take care in the meantime.